Did you know that cetirizine, a simple antihistamine, has been found to be effective at regrowing hair? That's according to two recent research studies out of Italy, and the photos which we'll show you are quite impressive. In today's video, we'll be breaking down the science of why cetirizine is so effective. Then you'll be able to make an informed decision on whether or not to include cetirizine in your hair care routine. Stay tuned. Hello, this is Tony from HairGuard. So let's get into it. What is cetirizine? Now, believe it or not, it's just a simple antihistamine. It's the kind of over-the-counter medication you buy for treating hay fever and other allergies. The big question is, what can this stuff do for your hair? Now, the first study to look into the potential of topical cetirizine for treating hair loss was published out of Italy in 2017. The researchers recruited 85 patients ages 20 to 65 with various grades of hair loss. The patients were split into two groups. One group was treated with topical cetirizine 1%, whereas the other group received the exact same vehicle solution, but without cetirizine. Treatment lasted for six months, and there were two main efficacy parameters. Number one, hair shaft density, and number two, hair thickness. The cetirizine group had an average increase of 30 new hairs, which compared to only 2.5 for the placebo, so there was a pretty massive difference. The cetirizine group also had thicker hair shafts. There were no notable side effects. In these photos, you can see the before and after of some men who were treated with cetirizine. At the top row, you see the baseline photographs and at the bottom row after six months of treatment. Pause this video if you'd like to study the photos in more detail. Now, these kinds of results would be classed as quote, moderate to marked. So this is improvement that is easily visible to the naked eye and in some cases striking. One thing though is that all these men had a diffuse style of hair loss. So they had thinning hair all over the top of their head and this is generally easier to treat. What we would have really liked to have seen would have been some photos of men with frontal hair loss, which is a bit more difficult to treat. Hopefully we'll get that in a future study. Last year, in 2020, we got this very interesting case report out of Italy. It involved a 70-year-old woman who had lost her hair after chemotherapy treatment for her metastatic breast cancer. The woman was started on topical cetirizine 0.5% along with oral vitamin D and antibiotics. As you can see in these photos from left to right, after 10 weeks, there was a dramatic reversal in her hair loss. Bear in mind, these results were obtained while the woman continued treatment for her metastatic breast cancer. There were no notable side effects from the cetirizine per se. This is pretty impressive stuff. So the question is, how could an antihistamine medication possibly be effective at reversing hair loss? Let's have a look first at its primary mechanism of action. Now, as the name suggests, antihistamines like cetirizine work by blocking our body's histamines. These are endogenous substances that have a wide range of functions in the human body. And one of them is getting rid of allergens. In other words, things in the environment that trigger allergies. Histamines work on four receptors. These are simply called H1, H2, H3, and H4. Now, cetirizine, selectively blocks the H1 receptor. This is the primary receptor implicated in allergic reactions. This makes cetirizine very effective and with far fewer side effects. The main side effect of antihistamines being sleepiness. So cetirizine won't make you nearly as sleepy as some of the older generation antihistamines. Now, nobody at this point is certain of the mechanism through which cetirizine might promote hair growth, but it might have to do with its dual action as both an anti-inflammatory and a prostaglandin inhibitor. If you recall from a past videos, one of the whole marks of male pattern baldness is chronic low-level inflammation. And while this inflammation hasn't received significant research attention, it's possible at this point that it might have a causal effect in hair loss rather than just being a symptom. The other relevant effect of cetirizine might have to do with its antagonistic effect on the prostaglandin PGD2. This is an enzyme with elevated activity levels in balding scalp and believed by some researchers to contribute to hair follicle miniaturization. So it appears at this point that cetirizine's hair growth properties are unrelated to its antihistamine effects. So what's our take on cetirizine? Well, the advantages are obvious. It's over the counter and it costs next to nothing. And it's been around for so long that it has an established safety profile, meaning you don't have to worry about any unexpected side effects. Now, being that cetirizine's patent has long expired, there is no money to be made for pharmaceutical companies in going down this line of research, meaning that cetirizine will never be marketed for hair loss. And if you're interested in using it to treat your own hair loss, you'll have to prepare the topical solution yourself. Now, as I said, cetirizine is a very inexpensive 
inexpensive medication. So you can just purchase pills in retail packaging and crush them into the solution. It's usually sold in 10 milligram tablets and you should budget around 100 tablets to get two months worth of topical. The solution used in the Italian study consisted of 1% cetirizine, 96% ethyl alcohol, and 16% of something called cyclosilicone pentamere. I've linked to the paper in the description below. As always, there's also good old propylene glycol. Now, if cetirizine works for you and you decide you want to stick to treatment, you will be able to find vendors that sell bulk powder online. And as always, even though cetirizine is sold over the counter and is generally very safe for topical use, we do recommend you run it by your doctor first. After all, hair loss is not what this stuff is sold for, so you can't go wrong by running it past your doctor first. And whatever you do, do not take it orally. It will do nothing for your hair and will only make you very sleepy. Cetirizine is virtually unknown in the hair loss community, so if you have any experience from using it, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. Till next time, this was Tony for HairGuard. Take care.